people are thinking about their mortality like maybe never before. And that's a good thing. Marcus Aurelius said, uh, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. If I may flip that around, you could, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you think and say and do. I think what you think starts, that, that goes first. Think, say, and then do. But So, uh, it's something to think about. I mean, so much of what we do in life, we, we act as if life will last forever, right? We obsess over pointless stuff all the time. By the way, I, I, hear, uh, I hear the media talking about death rates of, of COVID patients for men and women. But I haven't heard a single mention of death rates uh, of COVID for the 57 other genders that we've heard so much about. It's cra like, crazy how that, all that stuff just goes by the wayside all of a sudden, right? But normally we're, we're focused so much on trying to make as much money as possible, making plans about the very far off future. Of course, it's responsible to make plans for the future, but we're like, we're way too focused on that because we act as if humans have conquered death because we're so advanced. We certainly have it. Some stupid pangolin, right? Some guy eats a pangolin on the other side of the world and it can sweep across the world and take us out. That's how much we've conquered death. Some guy eats a bat and a pangolin and, and people die. Now, this isn't the big one, but who knows when the big one is coming? Momenti, memento mori, that's the Latin phrase. It means remember death. It's actually a Christian's, uh, early Christian church uh, use that as one of their mantras, memento mori. Helps you focus, remember death, helps you focus on what's important and in the moment. Gives you proper perspective as well. Um, I came across a new version of this. So Ronald Reagan had the version that um, we've shared many times before, and, or I, I've shared not on the show, but in the radio show, and, and I like this a lot, and it's good. So let me share this one, and then I'll share the new one, because it's the same point. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Reagan said this is a commencement address he gave in Notre Dame in 1981. He said, a few years ago, someone figured out that you could condense the entire history of life on Earth into a motion picture that could run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, right? So you take the history of life on Earth and you put it into a movie that lasts one year. So imagine you sit down and you're watching a movie of life on Earth and it lasts a year, okay? The United States would not appear on that screen until the last three and a half seconds of the movie. Not only would a new concept of society come into being in those last three and a half seconds, a golden hope for all mankind, but more than half the activity, the economic activity of the world, would take place on this continent in that moment. Free to express their genius, American uh, men and women, three and a half seconds would see such miracles of invention, con uh, construction, and production as the world has never seen. So you, again, a year, you watch a movie for a year, and the last three and a half seconds is America. Boom, that's it. We're that, that little blip at the end of the movie. All right, so that's Reagan's version. I came across this Richard Dawkins version of it. I like this too. He said, spread your arms wide. Spread your arms wide like this. The tip of your left hand marks the beginning of life. Okay, this is it. This is the beginning of life right here. The span from the tip of your left hand all the way to your right shoulder is nothing but bacteria. All right? Right here, all the way to here. That's the life. This is the life of the history of life on Earth is the arm of your arms, man, right? This is the beginning of life. This is all the way from here to here is bacteria. The first invertebrates all the way to your right shoulder. Or the first invertebrates make the entrance near your right elbow. Okay? The first invertebrates. The dinosaurs appear in the middle of your palm and die out right here. This is dinosaurs. Homo erectus and Homo sapiens appear at the white part of your fingernail. <laughs> All of recorded human history, the Cro-Magnon caves of Europe, the god kings of Assyria and Mesoamerica, all the spreading trade routes and codified laws and languages of the world, the rise of nation states, the fall of the Roman Empire, right up to the Rolling Stones and reality TV, all of it could be erased by the single stroke of a nail file. This is the history of life on Earth. And everything we know, everything, from the fall of the Roman Empire to the beginning of human, uh, human beings to, to, to today is just, just the little tip off your nail. Flight of Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.